Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create this crazy cake illusion using Adobe After Effects. Let's get started. First let's take a look at the original shot. Place the glass on the table and then quickly replace it with a cake. Make sure to keep it in the same position as the glass. Once you have this recorded, open up After Effects. Place the shot on the timeline. First thing we need to do is cover the part where the glass is being replaced with a cake. So look for a spot where you can freeze the video. Then duplicate the original layer and grab the pen tool. Create a mask around the area which you wanna hide. Then go to Time, Freeze Frame. To make the edge of the mask less visible, feather it a bunch. Next duplicate the original layer again and move it to the top. Freeze the video and draw a precise mask around the glass. At this point we can animate our second mask to reveal the cake which sits below our glass or cup layer. As the next step we need to get the hand and knife on top of the glass. So duplicate the original video and move it to the top. Now choose the Roto Brush tool and draw a mask around the hands and knife. We can also start revealing some parts of the cake. Then freeze the selection and tweak the settings. Next we need to animate the glass so that it follows the shape of our cake. For this I'll use the Mesh Warp effect. Enable animation for distortion mesh and reduce the opacity so we can see the cake. Now go frame by frame and adjust the shape of the glass to match it with the cake. Also animate the position of this layer. And this is how it looks right now. Next recompose this layer and choose Move All Attributes into the new comp. Then create a mask just around the front part of the cake and animate it. As you can see some parts of the cake are still visible there. To get rid of that, duplicate the original video and move it below the glass layer. Create a mask around the area which you wanna hide and animate the mask accordingly. Additionally, I added this small piece of glass on top of the cake. Now we are almost done. You can pre-compose everything, top it off with some fake camera movement and color grading, and we are done. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.